Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanago. It is Monday, September 14th. Um, just a few announcements before we go. You see the connect card on your screen and also the link for online giving. Uh, reminder that there is a new Bible class starting um, online tonight at 8 p.m. And the next three Tuesday nights, there will be an in-person Bible study led by Pastors Berg and Martin, um, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. We'll begin our morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. He remembers his covenant forever, the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. For our devotions this week, and interesting enough, uh, figured out if my math is right we've been doing this for about six months now able to put out these five devotions a week and and oftentimes it's true in pastoral ministry um, what is intended to be a blessing for you uh, the viewer um, and turns to be a blessing even more for the pastors who get to do this uh, this regular habit of morning prayer has been an absolute blessing um, for your for your pastors uh, for our devotions this week maybe a little bit different topic thought each day I would just grab something uh, that uh, grabbed my attention from, from my daily blog reading or different things that I see as it relates to church um, and ministry and, and just a little devotion on it. So so today's, I'm reading off of a different screen here, um, from the Christian Post, the title, Grandparents Day, Kids Need an Adult Who's Crazy About Them. Um, I didn't know the history of Grandparents Day, 1979, President Carter he proclaimed the first Sunday after Labor Day as National Grandparents Day. It was Lisa May Alcott who wrote, Every House Needs a Grandmother in it. You can Google it. It's kind of an interesting article. But I was just thinking about it in the terms of the blessing of parents and grandparents handing down the faith um, to the next uh, generation. Um, this Saturday, uh, this past Saturday, uh, we had two private baptisms here at church. I had one at 9 a.m. Pastor Martin had one um, at 10 a.m. And during the baptism liturgy, um, we read from Mark's Gospel, chapter 10. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them. The disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a little child shall not enter it. And he took him in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. I've said to many a parent and grandparent, I know how much you love your children. I know how much I love my children. Jesus loves them more. And so this is something that we are always reminded of, Jesus' care and concern for our children. It's why we bring our children to the waters of baptism. Jesus claims them as his own and says, I'm not letting go. This is why we bring our children um, to the instruction of Jesus when it comes to Sunday school and, and Bible history and catechism instruction. It's why we find time to have our children in worship. We are teaching them the rhythm of what it means to be a child of God. We're teaching them what it's like to listen to the loving voice of the shepherd and to return to him our songs and, and praise. The article made a, a couple of interesting observations. Um, one, it talked about uh, it talked about the use of and guilty as charged, how uh, often we use phones and screens in our lives. And said one of the things that's lost there, of course, for kids is um, not, not just screen time, but of course, every time you're you, we, me are tied to a screen, what we're missing out on with interaction with others. And talked about the days of the bike ride to grandma's house or sitting at grandma's kitchen table while she was baking and listening to the stories be told, fostering those relationships. I think even more about the relationship with uh, the next generation. 
um, that uh, how parents and grandparents handle adversities in life and challenges in life, the anxieties of life, goes a long way of instructing our kids of what's important, where we turn to in time of need, um, whose name it is that we call upon uh, with all of our struggles and our worries um, and our doubts. Um, this article just got my mind thinking again this morning. The blessing of having children, um, the blessing of having a congregation filled with children and grandchildren, and the opportunity that you and I have uh, as we hear the voice of Jesus, the one who has graciously called us into his lap and promised not to let go, that we continue to bring our little children to Jesus and do not hinder them, um, not in our thoughts, not in our words, not in our actions, not in what we do or what we don't do, that we continue to hand our kids over to Jesus, the one who loves them more, trusting that he knows what's best for them now and for eternity. Um, God bless you, you parents, you grandparents who are watching this today, as you consider the awesome responsibility that God continues to give to you um, to, to proclaim to your kids who Christ is and why he is for them. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, preserve the congregation of believers with your never-failing mercy. Help us avoid whatever is wicked and harmful, and guide us in the way that leads to our salvation. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Before the closing hymn, just a reminder, it's Monday. There is worship here at St. John, 6.45 p.m. tonight. We've also made available the recording from yesterday's services. And again, new Bible study on Zoom begins at 8 p.m. this evening. Have a blessed week in the Lord.